The alleged odua has been said to be in a very hot soup. <laughs> you know, after the confession from her daughter, things are no more the way it used to be for her. As a matter of fact, information have it that uh, she is getting broke by the day because all the evil plan that she did against Queen Naomi have started coming to limelight and it is now affecting her relationship with the king because Onano say she leveraged on the fact that she knows the king and uh, 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 the king exposed her to a lot of opportunities that she makes money. And they say there is this farmland. Only Ofife is the one that owns that farmland, you know, and it's a very big place. And he gave it to Iyala Jodua, free of charge. They say she's not paying a dime on that land. She's doing her poultry farm. She cultivates crops. She's making millions of naira from that farm every year. And he, because of because she doesn't want Kwenami to breed, because she doesn't uh, want the relationship, because she doesn't want Kwenami's marriage with the king to work, just because the king did not take her own daughter instead, uh, she had been fighting. And now, since good thing is not good to her, the king have decided to take away that land from her. You know, for the interest of those who did not uh, or have not been hearing all her contributions, ever since this drama of Phenomi leaving the palace started, they have been involving Iyale Jodua in many ways. First, they said an elder confessed that they used something to manipulate Queen Naomi out of that palace that particular day. And the, the people involved include that particular elder that was confessing, another elderly man, Queen, Na uh, Queen uh, Ashley and uh, Iyala Jodua. There are three or four of them that planned that thing. And after that, we still had another confession from another person because almost all time they are now confessing. Someone said another... Uh, Palace guard said that they used only of the first sale pass and when Naomi sale pass to do the separation, you know. So, and some people confess that they were the people that brought the sale pass well, before that, uh, so that these people were able to do what they did. And the Yala Jodua, they still called her name allegedly because I will always remind you that. All of these gist that we are sharing with you here, they are all alleged information because we do not live with these people. Though. Okay, now, her own daughter have confessed to, allegedly, saying that the mother did something with Queen Naomi Sipas and the new Fifa Sipas, that she was the one they sent to Quara State to go and submit those items to the man that did that. You know, and this is coming up because she supported her son, uh, in a quarrel, they said the, the daughter and the, the son had a serious issue and they quarrel. Then instead of the mother to play a motherly role to, you know, uh, find a way to sort out things between her children, uh, she sided uh, with the guy, with the boy, and the, the lady got angry. I mean, her daughter got angry and opened up. They said the lady went to Oni of Ife to confess, telling her that look, oh, that she is sorry that this this thing is like this, so oh, but she needs to confess that this is disturbing her, this and that. Yeah? And this is to tell you that you see, you don't want peace in another man's house. You can never have peace in your own home. That is it though. Very simple. Because peace comes to those who seek for peace. You know, who are peace ambassadors. You cannot be dishing out glass outside, destroying people's marriage, and you expect your own home to be peaceful. It is never going to happen. Never. Who can imagine that uh, her own daughter will be the one? And let me tell you, if the king have not been believing all that she has been, he has been hearing about this whole matter, about uh, Iyalaje being involved in all of this, maybe why the others were saying it, she'll be busy denying it. And the king might be doubting it. Could it be possible? Maybe she's uh, part of it or maybe she's not. But this particular confession that comes from her own daughter, you don't tell me that the king will just uh, sweep it under the carpet. No, it is not going to be possible. And that's why they said the king was so angry, so, so angry, that he decided to take away that farmland from Iyale Jodua. And they said, from what we are hearing allegedly, because I will always remind you, that that farmland itself belongs to Prince Tadene Kao. 
the name and everything have changed. Let me tell you, Oni Ofife is such a smart king, very smart. He knows that all of these women that he's gathering for himself, that they are going to cause him serious trouble in the future. And that is why you see him trying to do everything in Tade's name now. Because I bet you, if the king did not do anything about that land and other things, time will come when Elijah will stand her ground, or maybe uh, 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 do it with one or two wives. They will gang up against the king to stand against uh, him, that she is the owner of that land. It's possible. It's very, it's very much possible. So they said the land have been willed to Queen Naomi and the Prince Tade Nikau. So Elijah cannot be farming on Queen Naomi's land thereby destroying Queen Naomi's marriage, taking Queen Naomi's papers to Babalawo to do something against her marriage. So right now, the king have taken away that land from her. Although, although from what we have been hearing, they said she had been running Helter Skelter, looking for a way to make peace uh, bef uh, between her and uh, Queen Naomi. But is that one peace? She's not trying to make that peace because she wanted peace. After all, if you want peace, you wouldn't have done what she did. But I believe she is doing all of that because the king is uh, taking away opportunities from her right now. From what we heard, they said all of those areas that she used to get money through the king, the king is blocking all of them. And it is getting to her. She believed that uh, if she reconciled with Queen Naomi, Queen Naomi is going to help her open those doors again. That's the essence of this reunion. She does. She's not going for. She's not uh, working towards this reunion because she really wants. Uh, maybe she feel remorseful for what she did. No, she never know that a day like this will come. She would. She thought that they are going to manipulate the king forever, because they manipulated him so much, such that they were able to achieve that separation between Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi, and they thought it's going to continue like that. But they never know that the God of Queen Naomi never sleep. So the essence of this reconciliation you hear, Yelaja is planning a reconciliation party with Queen Naomi and all of that, is because of uh, the things that she's getting from the king. Those things, she's no longer getting them. And she still wants to remain on track. Hey, yeah. Anyway, that is why we will always say that when the breeze blow, foul nyash go open, go show. This uh, Yala Jenya, she don't do show. He don't do show. Though, ever since this whole story started, no one have said something good about her, especially when Queen Naomi is consigned. As long as Queen Naomi is consigned, you'll always hear how she is trying to fight Queen Naomi one way or the other. Recall when she posted one girl like that, one girl that the king had uh, uh, out of uh, wedlock. She posted that lady, wishing her happy birthday. It's only of her first child. When it is today's birthday, she couldn't even post today. That is to tell you the hatred. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to remind you that they're all alleged information. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're here to subscribe. And give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to bring you more gist. Bye. Love you guys.